So this video is for our new window and our Cubase users. We're going to show a little of the extra integration we have with these two standard DAWs using the SKI plugin. So to install it, first let's choose our DAW that's running, which is new window 6.5. And then you click this yellow install label. It opens up the installer here. Then just choose if you run in 32-bit or 64-bit and then click the install button and it will install it automatically for you. Let's close out of that. So the very first feature we're going to talk about is auto switch and paths. So let me turn this on and you'll see already that Basehead knows what project is active inside Nuendo. So if I switch to Rail 2 here, you'll see Rail 2 appear. If I go back to Rail 1, Rail 1 pops up. So now we can assign an audio files folder to each of these. Select effects new, and you see right at the bottom right, transfer path stored. Let's switch to real two, and let's assign this one to effects old. So now, as long as auto switch and paths is selected and turned on, if I, once I go back to real one, you'll see it recalls the effects new path. If I go to real two, back to effects old. So you can see this is really handy if you have, say, like a five reel show, and each has a different transfer path. So when you open up reel three, the transfer path will be recalled for reel three. All right, so the next feature I'm going to talk about, which is exclusive to Nuendo and Cubase right now inside Basehead, is the follow session folder feature here. So you notice, as soon as I turn it on, Basehead will auto-switch the transfer path to whatever session is open for the audio files folder actually. So let's click this and there you have it. It automatically switches. So let's go to Reel 2 and that automatically switches. So even if you open up a brand new session and let's put it there. Let's name it blah blah. You see blah blah pops up here and also the transfer path is already switched also. This is one of the main advantages of using Nuendo or Cubase. We're not limited to just sending information to the DAW. We actually receive information back from them. And the next feature I want to talk about that also uses the SKI plugin is spot the track and toss in files directly from Basehead to the Nuendo pool. So to do the latter, just simply select a file and hit X and it flies to the pool. Select multiple files, hit X, they're all in the pool. If you want to put a file exactly on a track at the cursor location, then lay down a new endo, select a file, and hit S. We'll put one over here, S. If you want to select a region, you select the region of a file, put it there, go back, hit S. Um, if you want to spot multiple files, you do that also. And it goes up and down. If you want to make it go in line, left to right, you can switch the setting to spot multiple files in line on the options page. Then select the track, select some files, and hit S. And then it lines them up on the track end to end instead. One last option we have for spotting now is the ability to spot with handles for new window. So uh, let's turn that on. And so now, if we grab a file, just grab a region of it, say, like this piece, hit S. Now, when I go to this file, I can actually pull the handles out. Voila. The last thing we want to talk about in this video is the ability to set sync points that transfer to Nuendo. So to do that, uh, just let's find some carbides and let's hold on Alt and click on the waveform and you'll see this yellow sync point up here. So let's find another one. Add one there. Let's add one here. So now when you click through these files, you'll see the sync points stay. We actually burn them into the IXML of the file. So now when you drag one of these out and lay it and drop it into window, you'll see the sync point still intact. Grab another one. This is great if you have video in the session because as soon as this file hits the new under timeline, 
the video actually follows the sync point instead of the head of the file. And if you want to change the location of the sync point, just hold on Alt and click anywhere else on the waveform. And to remove it, just hover your mouse over the top part of it, turns into a hand, click it, and it's gone.